Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So today we're going to be looking at a video that I keep getting pinged on in Discord and also on Reddit for about this uh, one bedroom apartment in Manhattan that has an insane line to view it. So here, this is a basic old ass walk up building because every neighborhood in this, every building in this neighborhood is some old walk up walk up building usually with really old apartments that haven't been maintained in a while and as you can see there is a line all the way up there and then right outside there is crowding on the sidewalk there is usually not crowding in this area this is 11th street and first avenue i know that because that's veneros bakery and my store my old store location used to literally be right here in the corner so if you walked half a block east and half a block north, bam, that's my store. I know this this uh, sign everywhere, anywhere, because my receptionist used to try to get dessert there three times a day. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, there is a giant, giant line waiting on the street. And this is something that honestly was unheard of even during the eight years that I had a store there. I never saw this type of competition for an apartment in my life. And one person had said, this is either some crazy deal with an open house or it's a random walk up that's still standing in an insane area. Uh, this area does have a lot of stuff for young people to do. This is not really a business district. This isn't a business area. This is what I used to call Never Never Land or I forget the name of it. There was this one uh, island in Pinocchio, like either Never Never land or you know the island in Pinocchio that all the kids to go to get drunk there's really not much to do in this neighborhood other than go to restaurants or get drunk and if you're there on Friday or Saturday night there are a number of places one of them was fairly close to my store that was not carting people for liquor and you, you can you can just imagine anyway I did a walk around video uh, on either Friday or Saturday night where I had went out to uh, see, meet, have a steak dinner with a friend. Then I went out to dinner on Ludlow. And then when everybody had taken a cab ride home and I was sufficiently wasted, I decided to walk around a little bit and just show you guys what things look like there. And I did that in this video. And you can kind of get an idea of how much um, of what this area looks like now. Uh, this is on Rumble. I will link it down below. You can see that I've made three cents from this video. So, you know, I, uh, we, we are balling from our time on Rumble. Uh, I, I walked around just to give you an idea of how crowded that neighborhood is. And this is on a Friday night. You have co bars that are so full, people can't get in them. You have corners. Like, again, there's, there's literally people crawling around the area everywhere. So a lot of people on this channel uh, have been saying, you know, like, New York City is dead. It's never coming back, this, that, and the other. And, I mean, is you, that, that's demonstrably untrue, as you can see from videos like this, where you literally can't walk on the sidewalk on a, fr on a Friday night because it is so effing busy. And this is what I imagine is driving a lot of people to show back up here. The thing that's really confusing to me is that in this video that I'll link to down below, it's pretty much as busy as it was pre-COVID. However, even pre-COVID, you didn't have shit like this to view a shitty walk-up apartment in the East Village. This is absolutely effing insane. Now, one thing that I find interesting is that the commercial real estate situation hasn't really changed much at all. In that video, you'll see numerous places that say retail space for lease that have been for lease all the way dating back to 2019 when I did my original real estate series when I'm looking for a new store. So we still have the same situation we did before in the commercial marketplace where you have all these different offices, all these different stores, all these different retail facilities that are still asking $100 to $500 a square foot, even though the local economy does not support it and businesses can't afford to pay it. Yet the residential side is booming, where you will have walk-up shitholes like this that are going for like, you know, $2,800 or $4,000, and you will have a, a line around the block that is blocking the sidewalk from people that are so eager to rent that particular space. And for me, what's really curious is that disconnect there. You know, again, I would expect either both to go up at the same time or both to go down at the same time. But my point of confusion when it comes to New York City is how is it that you can have this much insane demand to live there to where prices really never went down, are exploding upwards, it's more difficult to get an apartment there now than ever. Yet there is, when it comes to the places to work, the places to go to, that continues to get hollowed out. More retail spaces for lease. More businesses going out of business. More employers saying you can work from home and not coming back to the office. I'm very curious what the driver of all of that is. Are all of these people that are showing up waiting on the sidewalk here? Because if you take a look, this is mostly young people here. The type of people that I imagine would be, you know, bar hopping and bar crawling and doing stuff like this out at the... Yeah, that was actually a good shot there. I've, I lost my place in that where you could... Yeah, look at this. It's mostly young people that, let's face it, just, you know, want to get shit-faced and... Um, Meet, and, and meet girls. Or do you have a situation where there's an increasing number of people 
that are showing up to rent apartments so that they could have fun in a decreasing number of bars, clubs, and local businesses. There's one site that I really like. It's called uh, EV Grieve, and what they it's it's a blog that just goes over the businesses over the past 14 years that open or close, all the different local businesses that made up the character of the neighborhood that are no longer there. And it's really interesting because when you take a look and you walk down these, these neighborhoods, you'll see a lot of these bars and a lot of these clubs, there's no space to let more people in. The lines keep getting longer and longer because there appear to be less of them. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this is a resurgence? Do you think New York City is coming back? Or do you think this is simply a dead cat bounce? I'm very curious to hear your opinions. And above all, I'm very curious to hear your opinion or your thoughts on if so many retail spaces are still for lease, if so many office spaces are still for lease, if many employers are not having people go back to the office, what are all these people fighting and clamoring to live in a shitty second or fourth floor walk up in a 110 year old building that probably costs three or four thousand a month see you in the next video i'm gonna spend my uh three cents that i earned from this video on some uh, steak at casey's rib shack and i will see you later